Hi there, this is Sober Crypto. Right, a little update from Twitter from Benjamin Minku. Oh, by the way, I did set up a Twitter account today. Uh, I've only got 16 followers, so if you want to follow me, that'd be really cool. I'll definitely, at least, I'll put any kind of information I've got that's, you know, current or interesting that I haven't had time to make a video for. I'll put it in here and I'll also announce the videos as well on Twitter. So, uh, yeah, please do follow me. I'll leave a link to that in the description, but basically it's just twitter.com forward slash Sabre Crypto. Uh, right, he said, here's a short update on the Myr Dex. It's been a few super long and intense days, but we're now close to solving the issue. Where are we? What's happening? Right. First things first, all funds are safe. I think we understand that now because for the brief hour that it popped live yesterday, everything seemed good. It said, we've just discovered a tricky bug on the virtual liquidity calculations, creating a mismatch between actual liquidity in the farming pools and calculated liquidity and hence a... Mistash, I assume it means mismatch of respective APRs. Okay, so I think this is probably what we were experiencing with the uh, ridiculously high APRs momentarily yesterday. Number three, the most important fact to underscore is that in the grand scheme of things, the only way to ensure you're alive and can continue to push for improving things is having the utmost emphasis and respect for security. I'm 100% behind this. Uh, I, you know, with something the scale of this and, you know, the amount of money involved in it, uh, security has to be the number one priority. It's like flying. Okay, so number four. This is especially true when the product complexity is off the scale, as with the Myr Dex, which is a thing we're probably not all appreciating. You know, the, the, the Myr Dex isn't a simple piece of software it might be like simple to look at and have a fairly simple interface but you know under the bonnet it's a complex beast anyway he goes on to say it's why we're treating issues with utmost attention and care why we've taken very prompt safety precautions why we've isolated the issue and are proceeding with testing the solution okay i'm good with that number five security is of primary importance so what's the next step we intend to heavily test the solution during the next few hours and we'll offer a new update in 8 to 10 hours. Okay, so this was posted at like 3 p.m. this afternoon, just suppose is about um, what were 2 p.m. UTC um, and 8 to 10 hours, probably talking around right about midnight on Sunday night UTC. Um, if the solution works and heavy testing confirms it, the Myr Dex will resume tomorrow. Okay, so that's pretty much what I was expecting. Well, I was kind of expecting it today, but tomorrow's good. Six, in the meantime, a new Myr Dex version with fix implemented will be deployed on the testnet in the next three hours to be heavily tested during the day internally and with the community. Okay, I was never actually involved with the test net, but uh, I kind of trust that's all good, you know. With testing validating proper functioning, the Myr Dex will be ready to go live again. Okay, let's look forward to that. And number seven, many people have discovered DeFi and farming for the first time via the Myr Dex. Yeah, I'll hold my hand up, that's me. Uh, I didn't know anything about farming or not a lot about DeFi before Myr, so that's true. We understand the security and functionality of it is of greatest importance for the Elrond ecosystem and are pushing hard to find the optimal solution. Thank you for your continuous support. Okay, I think that's quite a good tweet. I think that's quite good information and it's quite reassuring for me. What wasn't so reassuring was this uh, poll I put out on YouTube where I was asking when do you think the Myr Dex is going to be live again. Uh, the most popular answer was... 2.30 tomorrow afternoon I think that's probably about realistic and you know I would agree with the majority there uh, the second most popular answer was never our on run off into the sunset with all my money I honestly can't believe that 27% of people think that I think you're probably just 
people who haven't been involved with crypto at this level before sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, you're dealing with very, very established technology, very established coins. Well, Alron certainly. Uh, obviously, Max is a bit new, but it's all part of the same ecosystem, if you like. And, um, yeah, so I, I think, yeah, we're looking at 2.30 tomorrow afternoon uh, to be live again. So, uh, yeah, so that's all good. Um, I'm happy with that. Uh, this afternoon I put out this link uh, about Holleride with an interview with Niels from Holleride uh, talking about what the project's all about and how it came to be involved with Alrond, all that kind of thing. Uh, I'd give this a watch if I was you. I, I was a bit confused at first because the first few minutes the introduction is in Romanian and the end part is in Romanian. But the rest of it is English, so if you speak English, that's cool. If you speak Romanian, you'll understand the intro and the outro. Uh, but yeah, that's all good. Um, this seems like a good project. I mean, it's a bit weird, I must admit. Um, and I'm still slightly concerned about if I'd want to sort of drive a car with my kids in the back, sort of with weird headsets on, looking at dinosaurs and stuff, you know. So I, I tend to think that, you know, part of the whole trip is uh, looking out the window and seeing what's going on. And uh, m maybe part of the journey has actually been a little bit bored. I don't know. Hard to say, really. But, um, yeah, we'll see how that works out anyway. But I think Ride is going to surprise a lot of people. I think it's going to be more popular than we're thinking, or a lot of people are thinking. Uh, I think it's going to be very interesting. So, uh yeah, do make sure you've got a bit of EGLD on the side and some LK Mex. So, yeah, so let's look forward to the decks going live hopefully tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, um, enjoy the rest of your weekend, what's left of it. It's pretty late here, so uh, not much left really. So, this is uh, Save with Crypto saying thanks very much for watching the videos. If you've enjoyed the video, please do click like. If you didn't like the video, click dislike click it twice just to make sure and uh, please leave a comment make sure you're subscribed tick the notification bell and above all tell your friends